So here's how to install your original finger comber unit. It arrives in two strand twists and it can be worn like that or you can open it up. You don't even need to have any hair if you wanna wear it with no leave out, but you can put it on over hair, over a stocking cap, whatever works for you. You're just gonna go ahead and put it on your, your head and then you're going to wear it as it is if you'd like, but here we have already opened it up halfway and I'm gonna show you how to open it properly. You wanna just be careful and just separate the two strands of the two-stranded twist. You're gonna do that so that you can still maintain the definition. If you do this hurriedly, you know, it's going to maybe get messy. So you wanna be careful and just kind of work your way all away all, all the way around the unit, making sure that you don't miss any um, strands. And as you can see, it just starts to look really cute right away. A lot of people like to just wear it in this like really nice defined uh, twist out look. So I kind of liken that to just a fresh twist out, but and if you just want to wear it as a fresh twist out, that is awesome. But if you want to, you know, make it a little bit more voluminous or make it look like, you know, a two day, three day old twist out, you can do that too. You know, we have said numerous times that we try to design these wigs in a way that really, really mimics um, your own natural hair. And we feel like protective styles should um, if you want them to be that is if they should look like your own natural hair and do the things that your own natural hair would do while you are protecting your own natural hair from manipulation over styling all of those things. So yeah, you're just going to want to go through the whole unit and make sure that you get everything open, all the twists open, and then you just kind of finger comb it. <laughs> so um, after you've finger combed it a little bit, you might just want to wear it just like it is. And as you can see, that, that was a super easy, um, super quick transformation. But if you want to take it a little bit further and open it up a little bit, we're going to show you how to do that also. A lot of women ask us what kind of products are good to use on this unit. Sometimes you want a little bit of added sheen, you know, a little bit of luster, or you feel like you want to soften the wig up a little bit. To do that, we like to use shea butter based products. That's what we always recommend. And here, I'm gonna just show you what we often use. It's the Afrogenics um, Shea Butter products. Um, we do have them available at fingercomber.com or you can get another shea butter product. I don't like using just straight shea butter because it's a little bit hard to melt, but this product is easier to melt in between your fingertips. And you're just gonna go ahead and just apply that throughout the wig as you need it. And you know, again, just the warmth of your hands just makes it melt right in. Straightforward straight shea butter can be a little bit easy to melt and it leaves a residue, but we find that this product works just fine for, for this purpose. Yeah, and you can wear it just like this. But if you want to take it a little further, we're gonna show you how to do that as well. What we recommend to open this wig up even more is to take an Afro pick or like a wide tooth comb, and you're just going to comb it, comb the roots. You'll see what I mean in just a second. You're just gonna take the pick, stick it in the roots and lift and see how instantly that just creates more volume and just like this awesome natural look. But what you wanna be careful of is to just pick the roots like you see me doing here. You're just gonna pick the roots and not all the way out 
to the end because just like natural hair, when you're kind of fluffing out a twist out, you're not going to comb it all the way through to the ends because you'll just wind up with an afro. Now, if that's what you want, you can do that too. But um, most women do want to maintain like at least a bit of the definition. But and if you do it this way, you'll, you know, you'll maintain a lot of definition, still have um, that nice twisted out look. And if you ask me, when you start twisting it out, it's just like you're adding um, days to the look. Like you're taking it from a one day old twist out to a two, to a three, to a four day old twist out. I think you get what I'm trying to say. <laughs> And look at that transformation. Look how it just goes from just being, you know, highly defined and um, sort of really curly looking to just having its real texture potential just sort of come out right in front of your eyes. Yeah, so now the next thing that you want to do, um, you can use some of your own hair you know if you want to leave like just a scant scanty bit of leave out around the edges you can but if you don't want to or even if you you know are suffering from alopecia and you don't have hair to leave out you can still use this unit what we like to do what we recommend is taking a small uh tooth comb a fine tooth comb and just kind of um back combing the edges a little bit because this hair is really nice and in it this very natural kinky texture it just will create just just the fuzz that you need to just make it um transition from your skin to the unit naturally and the more you just kind of back home it the more fuzz that you'll create So I hope that this is helpful and we will continue to try to make these videos answering the questions that you guys often ask us. Enjoy!